Hi, my name is Ivan Ngure. Welcome back again to my channel. So today we are going to be speaking about how you can effectively get your art supplies without much hassle. Have you ever gone to a shop, you're looking for a certain material, but it's hard getting it because you don't have a sample, you don't know the name, you don't know the right price, and you end up uh, going through a lot of heartache because you end up not getting your material. So today I'm going to be going through several points that can help you constantly, effectively get your supplies every single time you need them and in time to actualize your projects. So the first step is get the correct, the correct name and description of the item that you need. If it's a material, do you need an acrylic bead? Do you need a glass bead? Do you need a glass stone bead? Do you need a brass bead? And this will help a lot so that when you reach the shop or the supplier that you want to buy it from, and it also can be online, you want to search online, you have to have the right kind of description. Um, notice that we have different types of uh, descriptions. Like, for instance, there is a, a question hook, which can also, in local terms, be referred to as a mosquito net hook. Yeah? And it also goes by other terms. Because sometimes you find that some of the tools, materials are labeled differently. We might have that one is labeled in the American English. Another one, the same, same tool also is labeled in the Queen's English. So you have to get the correct name and description of your product and also the functionality of that product. That will help a lot in you getting what you need. Again, these are the challenges that I've encountered through my career because sometimes I go looking for items and I end up not getting them because I couldn't remember what I'm looking for and I end up um, using signs, it looks like this, it, it does that, and that doesn't help in getting that material or tool in time for my work. Number two, have a sample. Having a sample of the material that you need, be it a canvas, maybe it's a soft fabric, it's a soft canvas, it's a, a tough canvas, that helps a lot in getting the right material and also communicating with your supplier so that they understand what you need. Also, if it's the first time that you're purchasing it, you might not have a sample. So have an image, go to Google and use the first point of the correct, Im the correct name, search for the name, get the image of the item that you need and that will help you when you go out to purchase it whether in person or whether you're doing an online purchase on any e-commerce platform, it will help you in getting the correct material or tool. Number three, before you go out and buy, get an estimate. Getting an estimate is very important, especially if you're buying the item for the very first time. This will help you in not overspending on the item that you want to buy and long-termly saving a lot of money. So getting an estimate, you can get it online, but note that when you go to, when you, when you go to get an estimate online, most online prices are a bit on the higher side. So if it's like $20, so you can estimate, okay, when I go to the shop, it might be around $17, okay? But the best way to get an estimate is to get it from a friend, a fellow artist, or a co-worker, you know? Because this tutorial can work diversely even beyond the art field. Number four, which is the most important point going forward. Make sure you keep a record of the price of the, of the purchases. Keep receipts. Record a location of where you bought them so that the next time you go buying them, 
then you'll remember exactly where you bought them, how much you bought them for. And over time, price increases might happen as it has been with the pandemic and with the inflation levels going up. So make sure you keep that record book updated. This will help you in uh, not getting overcharged or getting duped into dubious deals. So make sure you keep a record. And that's all for today. I hope this video does a great help into improving how you buy your materials, how you produce your work, or how you work in whichever field that you work. Remember, this is a personal-based solution um, in regard to my experience as an artist, as a sculptor, because I work in a diverse array of materials and tools, and I find myself buying things from all over, from online, but, but, but mostly in shops in town. If you have any question regarding where you can get a certain material locally in Nairobi, drop me a message and I will answer you with the description where you can get it and all that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. My hope is that you learned something from this video. And if you did, leave a like, comment, and if you haven't sub subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Until next time, bye-bye.